Hey guys, Ash here from CurseForever.com and this is my tutorial on how to unroot the Samsung Galaxy Grand i9082. So in case you want to sell your Grand off or you want to send it in for warranty purposes, you need to unroot your device back to, factory, back to the factory state without any uh, traces of it ever being rooted. So if that's what you want to do, this is the tutorial for you. So guys, the first thing we need to do is head on over to the Play Store and uh, download this app called Triangle Away. So this is a paid app uh, and I highly suggest you pay for it. But if you don't want to pay for it, the developer Chainfire has made it legally available uh, for free on XDA developers forums. So you can Google for it, get the latest APK. And, uh, make, and guys, keep in mind, it's only the latest versions that, is, that, that are com compatible with the Galaxy Grand. If you download an earlier version, it's going to give you an error saying your, your device is not supported. So make sure you have the latest version and open it up you will be asked for super user pri privileges over here just hit grant and now over here you will see your current status if it says counter is zero then you can skip this step but if it says one or anything higher just go ahead hit reset flash counter hit continue and just wait for it to do its thing all right so now again open it up and there you see the counter is zero, the binary is official. All right guys, at, at times your counter, even after doing this, might still say one. This usually happens if you are on a custom ROM with a custom kernel, in which case just follow my video uh, and uh, follow all the steps that we do in this video, after which just root your phone again and run the uh, triangle away and repeat this procedure. Because you need to get your, uh, if sometimes if you are on a custom kernel, that's what's gonna happen even after resetting the flash counter you're still gonna be it's still gonna show one so right now you can put your galaxy grand away and uh, open up the browser on your computer and go to samfirmware.com before that hit link one from the description and that will take you to the Samsung keys page download Samsung keys and install it and hit link two, and that'll get you Odin 3 v 3.04 so get that right click extract it and you will get this all right so get links uh, one and two install link one and i mean uh under or unzip link two all right once you've done that link three will take you take you to samfirmware.com so over here click on firmwares and under type select smartphone os android and search for i9082 there you have it galaxy grand yours and now select the relevant country whatever your country is so I'm selecting India and there are the there are these firmwares just select the latest firmware download it all right I've already done that when you do you will get a zip file so right click on the zip file and extract it It'll take a few seconds. So while that's happening, on your Galaxy Grand, again, uh, I mean, just hold the down volume, power, and the home buttons at the same time. Hit volume up to continue. All right, so here we see custom bin down is zero. That I mean, no, that's your binary counter. Current bin is Samsung official. System status is custom. That's what we are going to fix right now. So... Go ahead, plug your phone into the computer using a micro USB cable and leave it as it is. So now open up Odin that we downloaded from Link2. So guys, as long as you have Samsung keys installed and your drivers are set up properly, this will turn blue. So we are good to go in this case. Now click PDA and navigate to wherever it is that you downloaded this uh, the firmware zip file from samfirmware.com and extracted it. So this is the firmware that I extracted and that will be in the form of a .dar.md5 file so just double click it select it so guys just make sure that it's just auto reboot and f dot reset time that's checked and everything else remains unchecked and now hit start all right so this is what you will see on your Samsung Galaxy Grand and uh, it might seem to be not responding but don't worry about it just give it a few minutes 
and uh, the procedure will complete. So just wait for it to complete and I will be back with you guys once it's done. So guys, this is what you will be seeing on your Galaxy Grand, this blue bar running and uh, a green over here. So just wait for it to complete. So once it says pass over there, you can unplug the micro USB cable. Alright guys, so we are back up here. So what we need to do is hold down volume power and home again. Just keep holding it and go back to download mode. Hit volume up to continue. So right now you can see the system status still shows as custom. So guys, right now at this point you need to back up all your contacts, apps uh, and data. Again, not your media files, everything else, because we need to go ahead and do a factory reset. So just uh, pull the battery out or hold the power button, turn off the phone, turn it back on. Go ahead, back up whatever you want, and then hold the up volume, power, and home buttons at the same time. You can do this from the, uh, what do you say, from the home screen as well. Just hold up volume, power, and home buttons at the same time. And keep holding it till you see Samsung Galaxy Grand displayed, and then let it go. Right now it will take you to Android system recovery. So do a wipe data factory reset. Your volume buttons act as uh, you know, a double up for navigation. And the power button is for selection. So select it. Scroll down. Yes. Delete all user data. That will take a few seconds. Alright. So now wipe cache partition. Alright. So hit reboot system now. Alright guys, we are back up here, so quickly running through setup. Skip. No. Not now. No thanks. Finish. Okay. So right now what you do is sorry just uh, go into settings scroll down about device and status there you see the device status now shows as official again to uh, double check it <coughs> down volume power and home at the same time again booting back into download mode Hit volume up to continue and there you see custom bin download is no, current bin is Samsung official, system status is official so you can just pull out the battery and pop it back in or just hold the power button to turn off the phone. And hit the power button again to reboot back up. So guys at this point if your binary counter still says 1 it means that you are on a custom kernel. Uh, so the only thing you need to do is just follow my root tutorial again, just root your stock firmware so that you're on a stock kernel but rooted and then run triangle away and follow this tutorial again. Just uh, flash uh, the stock ROM ba back again. It's going to take you another 15-20 minutes but your phone will be back to official status and you can sell it or send it in for warranty. So that's pretty much it guys for unrooting the Galaxy Grand i9082. If you guys run into any issues or if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up at cursforber.com slash forums. Uh, and before you go, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. And if you think it'll help someone else, just go ahead, share it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any video requests for me or if you just want to stay updated on my latest updates and videos, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter or Google+. All my contact details are in the description. So that's it for now. Thanks a lot for watching and if you guys do want to help me out, just use my links to Amazon.com from the description. If there's anything that, that you want to order online, just go through to Amazon using my, my links in the description. And every time you guys place an order, no matter for whatever it is that you purchase, I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks depending on what you buy. So that is if you guys do want to help me out. Uh, so again, thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. Stay subscribed. Dash here from CursePower.com signing off. Bye-bye now.